Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to create storage account on Microsoft Azure. A storage account is a container for grouping Azure storage services. Only Azure storage data services can be included in a storage account. The users can manage data services as a group when they are integrated into a storage account. Today we are going to see how to create a storage account for Azure. So first I will log in for the Microsoft Azure portal. This is my Microsoft Azure portal. Next now I am going to create a resources. So show for the all resources. Next now I am going to search the storage account. Then click the storage account. Previously I am not any storage account. So now I am going to create a new storage account. So go to create. This is the first page for the storage account to the basic details. So first you will select the subscription free trial. I am in free trial. So I will select for the subscription free trial. Next go to select the resource group. I am creating a new resource group. Then enter the resource group name. Then OK. Next now I am going to Select the instance details, storage account name. The storage account was globally uniquely. So now I am going to set the new storage account name. Next now I am going to select the region. Many region available. So now I am going to select the region. Next is select the performance. The two types of the performance standard and premium. Now I am going to select the standard recommended for the most scenarios. Next now I am going to select the residency. The residency for the local and geolocation. Now I am going to select the lowest cost option for local residency. Next now I am going to create the advance. The advance page will be show for the security for your storage account. The minimum TLS version default for the 1.2 so another options i will skip there next now i'm going to select the networking the networking page will be access for the enable public access for all network or enable public access for selected virtual network only so now i'm going to select the enable public access for all network next network routing the microsoft network routing i will select that next go to the data protections the data protection can be used for the accidentally you want to delete your resource or storage account. So this is advanced option for your storage account. Enable the soft delete blobs. So now I'm going to next encryption. The encryption type default Microsoft manager key MMK. The enable support customer manager keys blobs only and file only. All services type blobs, files, tables and quiz. Now I am select the default blob and files only. Next tags. Tags used for the identification for your resource groups. Now I am going to enter the tags. The many tags available for your storage account. Now I am going to enter the tag name. Next enter the value test to select the review and finally I will review the my basic details and advanced option and networking and data protection, encryption and tag details. Next now I am going to create the storage account. The deployment was processed. It will be take sometimes. The deployment was created successfully. Next now I am going to resource. This is my storage account. The storage account name and take. Next now I am going to click the container. Then select the container new container. I will create the new container. So enter the container name. After enter the container name. Next now I am going to select the create. The container was created successfully. After container creation. Next go to the inside of the container. The container inside. To have store for the many files folders you can access and store. So now I am going to select the upload. 
in our local machine to select the files and store the container block. To select the files and select the files and then open. Now I'm going to next upload. Uploading the file. The file has been uploading successfully. Next now I'm going to inside of the file. This is the my file inside for URL. After creating the file, the automatically create for the URL. Now I'm going to copy the URL. Next to go to the browser and paste the URL. The error is will error can be showed the specified resource does not exist error the error file created the error container created time i will select only for the private only so now i'm going to select the public so you will see the my file and select the file then next to go to the change access level to be access level for the private only anonymous user next now i'm going to select the Public access default blob anonymous read access for blob only. Then OK. Change the access level. Next to go to the browser and refresh the page. You will see the my file content. This is my file inside of the content. You not save the file folder only. You can save the any script files and database tables. You can store many objects. This is for the Microsoft Azure create a storage account. Next, now I'm going to delete the storage account. Go to the storage account. The top side, you can see the delete option. The delete storage account, you will follow the table of the storage services, blobs, files, tables, and quiz. Now we are going to delete the storage account. So enter the storage account name and click delete. Deleting my storage account and refresh the page. My storage account was deleted successfully. This is the steps you can follow. How to create and delete the storage account for Microsoft Azure has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.